Yes, well, that crowd inside the Motor Point Arena may have been denied a, a 147 yesterday from Ronnie, but they were treated to an absolute masterclass this afternoon. And Darren said it in commentary there. Unbelievable stuff. Very, very straightforward. All the top players usually play like that sometimes, but Ronnie O'Sullivan does it so, so often. And that four frames there with, with no reply. And his, his opponent had one chance... One chance in four frames there to put something on the board. That is as good a performance I've seen from Ronnie for a few years. OK, he won the Masters. I don't think he played great in the Masters and still won it. That is virtually unbeatable the way he played there. 38 minutes in total, so, so very, very slow, straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no fine for slow play there, yeah. um, as you might do in cricket or something like that. But you mentioned previous tournaments. Mm. Um, it's almost the kind of snooker with which he won this tournament two years ago in such sens sensational style. Of Made course. a match for him in the last frame, of course. And I think Ronnie goes into... Um, he goes into his shell sometimes and gets, inv gets involved and things like that. And I think he's been very quiet coming into this tournament. He didn't play in another tournament before he came into the Masters. He's, he's come into this tournament very quietly, played great against Barry Pinches towards the end. And that last four frames there, you just, you just can't get better than that. Mm -hmm. You really can't get better than that. And his poor opponent... Any, yeah, you could feel any consolation at all? When you consider he'd won, beat Ronnie on the two previous occasions, once was in the European Tour event that doesn't really count, but he beat him in the China Open. So obviously he is a player that, uh, that can do the well, business. Well, here he comes, the man who's through to, uh, to round position three. position was just a bit lax today, Ron. <laughs> 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 was it? Was it I, think I'm, I think now that the thing is all the players are going to wear a hair clip. Do you, want, do you want to borrow one? Right there? <laughs> He's fantastic, mate. You played he hasn't stopped talking about your hair clip, uh, Willie, um, <laughs> this afternoon. Ronnie, it looked like you had a, uh, a plane to catch or something. I don't know, because that was, what, 38 minutes straightforward for you today. Must have enjoyed that. I don't know. Did you enjoy it? Was yeah. it right? We enjoyed it. Good. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it was good, yeah. Enjoy yeah. it, yeah. yeah. It was good, yeah. And you've lost the last twice you played to Chiang. I mean, um... Did he play that well against you, or were you struggling in those two matches? No, no I, I rate him yeah. as a player. You know, he's tidy, compact. Um, but yeah, he's, he had chances against me, but just didn't, didn't sort of like make the most of them. Mm. Mm. Did you feel better today? Did you feel more relaxed, more confident, happier than perhaps yesterday? No, I'm, I, was, I was fantastic yesterday. I'm fantastic today. I've been fantastic every day for quite a while, really. So uh, I don't know what the furore is. Have know. you looked at any of the social media just lately? Uh, obviously, you, <laughs> you get told about a few bits and pieces, but you know. Um, well, they say. started ringing me at 7 o'clock. I've done 11 radio interviews about yesterday. But I'm looking at it at both sides. I'm looking at it as a player and looking at the public. Mm. I mean, I agree with you, the prize money should be more. But, um, you know, I'm sure you've got your own opinions on that anyway. I was just having a bit of fun, you see. You know, I, 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 like, when you get to 40 and you've been doing this for 25 years, you, you, you kind of have to sort of uh, start to enjoy it at some point. And, and I just, you know, I wasn't taking it seriously. It was just a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, and I, I just hope everybody sees it in that way. You know, that it's, yeah, I don't, know, I don't see why we have to take everything so seriously these days. You must have seen what Barry Hearn though said about it, Ron. He said it was uh, disrespectful and uh, unacceptable to the paying public who come here to see you get a one four seven. Well, if you'd have told me before the game I was going to make a one four six and do that, they'd have probably bought the ticket on on the back of that. So, <laughs> and if it's disrespectful, then if anyone else can go and put a performance in like that, there's my cue, there's my chalk, there's my waistcoat. Tell them to go and do it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. What about the argument that perhaps you know you could have gone for it, and if you'd won the ten thousand, you could have given it to charity? Um, when you're out there playing, you know you don't start thinking about charities. You don't start thinking about what everybody's going to say. When I go out there, that's the only time in my whole life that you, f you drop all your problems at the door. Whatever you've got going on in your life, you just go into a, a wonderful zone out there. And I don't know what it's like for most players, but I get I start to sort of. You know, you, you, things go through your head that make you want to kind of do things. You're like, you like, you yeah. go into a bit of a showman type thing. I was thing. trying to explain to people, Ronnie, getting the buzz out of 147, it's just, it's, it's almost as big a buzz as winning a tournament, isn't it? And 147 really excites you when you're doing it. And yeah, uh, yeah, no, there's, there's no feeling like it, because obviously, you know, it's, it's the ultimate, it's like the nine data. And, um, you know, so it's, it's a great feeling, but I just, um, I, you know, I, I used to make 140s in practice and, and deliberately not pot the black, because I just... It was like more. It was more impressive to do that than it was to make a 147 because everybody's used to people mm. making maxes. And I remember I was only 16. And Stephen Hendry was watching, and he was obviously the man at the time. And I thought, how do I kind of imp impress this guy? And, so, and he was watching me, and I made a 140, and I just started setting the balls up. <laughs> so you just kind of do little things just for a bit of a laugh and a bit of a kick. And I got a kick out of doing it in practice when Stephen was watching. And I, you know, you just, I just. It, 
I'm sorry for getting a kick out of something like that. Please, <laughs> you can't, how can you turn down ten grand though, even for a man like yourself who's won so much prize money? Because I, it, done it, it so many times. It was. It's, it's not about the money. It's just about having a bit of fun, a bit of a laugh, and I just hope that everybody just sees it as that, you know. And um, you know, if I'd have been out there, like when I woke up this morning, I thought it'd have been a wonderful thing to have made the maxi and give the, the prize money to charity. But you, I wasn't thinking out there. I was just thinking about having a bit of fun and. You know, um, I'll, I'll try and not have fun next time. <laughs> you certainly had fun today, mate. You never missed a ball. Yeah, yeah, play, yeah, yeah. I played all right. I played all right. But you know, it's um, it was just like an exhibition. I've been playing so many exhibitions. I feel like every every time I go to the table, you just want to clear up. So. I think I need to start doing some more exhibitions if I'm going to make me play like that. But you are, you are living proof that you can go away and have an eight-month break from the game and do whatever you want, do a bit of TV, as you said yesterday, and yeah. do what it is that you enjoy doing away from snooker, and you can yeah. still come back, as you did at the Masters, and appear to be doing here, and, and be on top form. Well, this is probably... Um, I, I love playing, I love practising, and mm. I, I love... We, we do some exhibitions, me, Willie mm. and JV, and I, I enjoy them more than I do playing competitions. But I realised I couldn't just do exhibitions mm. and no comp and competitions because obviously the snooker fans they they want to see you play on TV they want to root for you so I've, I've kind of got to get the balance right yeah. of playing enough competitions where I get a bit sharp and the motivation to practice but really I prefer playing my exhibitions you, you know I don't want to be playing John Egan's Neil Roberts and Selby every day of the week and for, practice, me, for yeah. me living God we're having a laugh isn't it? Yeah. like these tournaments it's really really tough mm. and, and also the other guys so I don't really want to. You know, it's, it can be quite grueling sometimes. Do you, do you put the practice in, Ron, or do you use the exhibitions as practice now? No, I practice. You know, I do a couple of hours and uh, kind of like the exhibitions. Mm. I enjoy. I, I get this. I mean, you done one with me, didn't you? Mm. It was a great mm. night, wasn't it? Fabulous. And, night. I'm, and I'm playing big people on great tables, pockets a little bit generous, mm. knocking in six, seven tons in eight frames. <laughs> and I'm playing like guys that can't really play, but, yeah. you know, there's. That's what it comes it's, to. It's, I'd rather play people that can't make 30 than make exactly. people that... <laughs> exactly. I feel like I've wandered into Ronnie O'Sullivan's kitchen or something <laughs> and Willie Thorne yeah. is, uh, yeah. is in there. Well, come yeah. and take over then. Start doing the job. I couldn't do a 147. Um, but in terms of, uh, you talk about you don't want to play John Higgins and all these guys. Well, I don't uh, mind playing John Higgins, yeah. but I don't want to play them every day of the week for me living. I'd much yeah. rather go and do a few exhibitions, chill out, have a bit of fun on the road. We have good food, we chill out, you know, it's all a bit relaxed. Come yeah. to these tournaments, it's very pressurised, very intense. You pick up on the energy around everybody's feeling mm. that that thing. So, you know, I don't. I just want to dip in and dip in it and dip out of it. You know, and just come and see if I've still got it. And if yeah. I've still got it, then do you just... find your enthusiasm has improved because you're picking and choosing tournaments now, Ron? Uh, I don't know. It's like you say. It's just about getting that balance of enjoying mm. stuff. And like I said, you know, the stuff with Eurosport has mm. been fantastic. And next year they're going to be doing five or six tournaments. So the tournaments that I'll be working on, I'll be playing in as well. Yeah. So. It, I mean, I've been up since eight o'clock waiting to play a game of snooker, and it's just killing time sometimes. It's the hard thing, and um, you know, it's sort of like if you've got something to do while you're at the tournament, you can take your mind off it. Because it is, if you can go into all these matches, I don't care what it is—the world final, your first round match—if you can go in there and just treat it like any normal day, just going down the club, having a practice, you 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 would play better. I mean, I, I, I didn't even practice before I played today because I thought, what's the point? Ten minutes going to do? You know, you ain't going to become a better player in ten minutes. Just have a bit of faith, have a bit of trust. Enjoy it. If you get beat, so what? You go home. Well, I wasn't <laughs> going to go home until I had my Chinese, though, because there's a great Chinese Is it? around here. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Happy, happy gathering. It's I amazing. I should be sneaking there tonight, Ron, if you don't mind. Yeah, get down there. It's fantastic. <laughs> Other Chinese restaurants are available. Uh, Ronnie, we'll see you in round three. And uh, thanks very much. Well no done worries. today. Thank Smoothly you. through. Ronnie O'Sullivan, right. Uh,